Well, here's another Ryan reactions for wasting another 100,000 uh, useless points on a video that, that was like the most recent video since I stopped posting. Tonight on Channel 6 News, the increase of violence towards Asian Americans continues to rise is this, during though? this coronavirus pandemic and why scientists believe you should reconsider your next hate crime. Coming up next. Good evening. I'm Ryan Anchorman, and this is Channel 6 News. This is so hard. I have to film While this all by myself. COVID-19 infections continue to ramp up here in the... That's why this is out of focus. Literally had no one to sit here. So I focused on the paper, thinking this is the distance I was going to be at. It was, it was not it. The United States, so had the reported hate crimes against Asian Americans. But is this phenomenon something that is helpful to the pandemic, or is it something that we've all misunderstood? <laughs> They're being beaten, their properties defaced. Why there's a huge spike in Asian American hate crimes here in the US during this pandemic. I spoke with Dr. Scientist of the American Central Health Ops Organization to find out exactly why. So why do you think there's been such a large increase in violence towards Asian Americans? Well, the coronavirus was reported to have started in Wuhan, China, which according to our research is in fact an Asian country. Right. Therefore, here in the US, we believe in that fact. if people started to contract the virus locally, it would be at the fault of the Asians here. The Asian American people. However, after extensive research, we've made some new incredible discoveries. And one of them is that there's actually a geographical difference between the Asian Americans living here what? in the US and the Asian people living Not in me? Wuhan, China. Really? How big of a difference are we talking? About 11,640 kilometers or a little over 7,200 miles. Wow. That is a great distance, and you are sure of this. My team and I have ran tests after tests on Asian Americans, and each time they come back positive for being Americans living here in the U.S. and not in China. I mean, some of them have never even been to China. It's amazing. How is that even possible? That is incredible. You will not believe the things we're finding. I mean, we're starting to see patterns down, that guys. not all Asian Americans are even Chinese. No. What? And with that new information, what? we wanted to see how people would react to this groundbreaking discovery, so we went to the streets. Where I met Ray, one of many Americans who are not only continuing hey, another to go outside, Ray. but going out even more now that they don't have work or school. Nope, I ain't afraid to say it. I hate all of them. This is all their fault. Look this guys, whole corona thing. The... <laughs> who are you referring to? The Asians. I mean, they're everywhere, and they're all infected. Ray Sisman is. If you look at the, <laughs> if you look at the camera, I'm supposed to be looking at the interviewer. There's like no one. You can clearly see there's no one there because it's just me. This whole Ray video. Sisman is one of many who believe that all Asians are infected with the coronavirus and are solely responsible for their ruined lives. I mean, look what they did to us. We can't even go outside no more. We ain't got no sports. We ain't got no toilet paper. I tried to hide we ain't it. got no jobs, below average IQ, no money. We got to marry our own cousins now. We smell like ass. And it's all because of them damn ching chongs running around eating bats. It's ridiculous. We then explained to Ray the new discoveries made that not all Asians are from Wuhan, China, infected with the virus. And in fact, most of the Asians he's seeing here in the US are more than likely Americans, some who've never even been to China. That's what they want you to think, all right? But I ain't no dummy, okay? It's simple. If you're Asian, you're Chinese. If you're Chinese, you're from China. If you're from China, you got the virus and you're gonna get beat up because that's the only way we can stop this thing. Can I ask who told you that? What do you mean? The president told us. He called it the Chinese virus. I don't know if you know this or not, but that directly translates in English to go around beating up Asian or Chinese people. I would know. It took two years of Japanese in high school, so I speak Chinese. So knowing what we know now, that That's Asian legit. Americans are in fact Americans and are just as likely or not likely to have the virus as any other race, should our strategy still be beating up Asians or shouldn't we be beating up every ethnicity equally if we want to beat this virus? Equality, well, that's guys. where our findings get even crazier. How so? We found that not I only does beating up Asians or any race people. for that matter not help prevent the spread of coronavirus, but according to our research, it may actually increase the spread. But how? Thousands of clinical trials, our research revealed to us that when you engage in the act of beating someone up, you're actually making physical contact with that person, whether it's with your fist or with an open hand or with a foot, whatever it is, you're close enough, just breathing the same air, being in the same vicinity, severely increases your risk of getting infected with the virus. That is terrifying. There's no way people would know that. Which is why we found it imperative to educate the public as soon as possible because naturally the most logical thing a person would think to do when trying to defeat See, guys, a deadly the more you know, write it down, virus 
is to go and assault the people who you think have it. But with this virus, that may not be the case. It could just be making everything worse. Once again, we took this new and profound information to the streets in hopes to change the minds of people like Ray by showing him our interview. Y'all expect me to believe this? That, that's the same person interviewing himself twice. That's Even the racist. anchorman in the beginning. Now that I look at you two, even you and the cameraman, y'all looked exactly the same. Y'all the same the cameraman. Person. There's no one there. We're all different people. We all just look alike. Remember what you believe? That is true. I do believe that. Hmm. And after watching the rest of the interview and learning all the new discoveries made, we asked Ray if his mind was changed. Nope. And let me tell y'all why. Because we are proud oh, Americans. We are angry, we are scared, we are irrational, and we are gonna continue to do our duties as responsible Americans and go outside with all our friends in big close-knit groups beating up Asians because that's how Americans beat this virus. Okay, with our bare, unwashed fists. Because America is number one. We are number one. We are number Say one. Say it with us. We are number one. Well said, racist men. And in fact, America is still number one, leading the entire world in both COVID-19 infections and he death. He was number one! I'm Ryan Anchorman, wishing everyone out there to be safe, stay home, and stop beating up Asians, you freaking idiots. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for wasting another 100,000 uses points. Appreciate it. Alrighty. We're number one, guys. I, th I think we're still in the lead, maybe. Probably. <laughs>